This is Chris from the Brantford Public Library. Today our craft is a faux tie-dye t-shirt. Here's the one I've been working on. This fun and easy craft has been very popular in the library. The supplies you will need today are Sharpie markers. You will need isopropyl alcohol. I use a 70% one. You will need a medicine dropper. And you may also want to use a cup and elastic. I would recommend though if you aren't using the cups to use a piece of cardboard to put in between the layers in case of bleeding through the material. And of course something to tie dye on. It could be a t-shirt, a pillowcase, shoes, a canvas, whatever you like. First let's talk about the t-shirt. I would suggest choosing a white or light colored t-shirt so you can see the design better. You can pre-wash it if you like. If you want to draw freehand, go ahead and be creative. If you want to try the cups and elastics, then you would take a cup, stretch the material tightly over the mouth like this, and then put an elastic around the cup to hold the material tightly in place. And then you would just draw your design. You really only need to use small dots and dashes or marks to be effective. Today I'm going to draw a couple of designs freehand just to get you started. So I'm just going to start by drawing a few dots, a few more dots. few lines and I'll draw another little design here maybe some diamonds a few little squiggles Few more dots. Once you have completed your design to your satisfaction, you can begin the alcohol process. It is your choice whether you want to keep the cups and elastics on or not. But if you're not going to, then take them off at this point. And you still need to have something underneath, like a piece of cardboard, to prevent bleeding. Start by dropping the alcohol by eyedropper on your marked dots or lines. You can drop three or four drops to start, and I like to start in the middle and work my way out. It should begin to take effect immediately. And I'll start a little bit on the second one here. Start out in the middle, just keep dropping them. And you can see the start colors start to move outwards. And a couple more here. When you are done, let it dry naturally. Once it is dry to set the colors, you can toss it into the dryer for approximately 15 minutes before wearing. And there you have it, a faux tie-dye masterpiece. Thanks for joining me today. 
Look for the next craft demonstration in August. Don't forget to look at all the other wonderful programs in the Home-Based Activities section of our website. See you next time!